Hello and welcome to Dia's Fun Play. In today's video, let's learn what is air pollution, effects of air pollution, causes of air pollution, and ways to reduce air pollution. Air pollution is the contamination of indoor or outdoor air and environment by a chemical, physical, or a biological agent. These agents can alter the natural characteristics of the atmospheric air and make the air toxic for the living beings that inhale them. Air pollution is caused by exhaust from motor vehicles, burning fossil fuels, household combustion devices, power plants, industrial facilities and forest fires etc. Pollutants of major public health concern include particulate matter, carbon monoxide, ozone, nitrogen dioxide and sulfur dioxide. Outdoor and indoor air pollution causes respiratory and other diseases and are important source of morbidity and mortality. Data from the World Health Organization shows that almost 99% of the global population breathe air that exceeds WHO guideline limits and contains high levels of air pollutants. Smog and soot are the two most prevalent types of air pollution. Smog occurs when emissions from combusting fossil fuels react with sunlight. Soot is a particulate matter made up of tiny particles of chemicals, soil, smoke, dust, or allergens in the form of gas or solids that are carried in the air. The sources of smog and soot are similar. Both come from motor vehicles, factories, power plants, incinerators, engines, or any mechanical device that combusts fossil fuels such as coal, gas, or natural gas. From smog hanging over cities to smoke inside the home, air pollution poses a major threat to health and climate. Outdoor air pollution in both cities and rural areas cause fine particulate matter which result in strokes, heart diseases, lung cancer, acute and chronic respiratory diseases. Around 2.4 billion people are exposed to dangerous levels of indoor air pollution. Therefore, it is absolutely important that your indoor spaces are very well ventilated. Open your doors and windows frequently to avoid accumulation of indoor air pollutants in your living space. Sources of indoor air pollution include household combustion devices that are used for cooking and heating, tobacco smoke, building materials and furnishings such as asbestos, newly installed floorings, upholstery, carpets, paints, furniture polishes, air fresheners, household cleaning and maintenance products, personal care items, pesticides, etc. The combined effects of indoor and outdoor air pollutions are associated with 7 million premature deaths every year. Mercury, lead, dioxins and benzene are few of the many hazardous air pollutants that can pose severe health risks and can be sometimes fatal even in small amounts. Benzene, classified as a carcinogen by the EPA, can cause eye, skin and lung irritation in the short term and blood disorders in the long term. Dioxins can affect the liver in the short term and harm the immune, nervous and endocrine systems as well as reproductive functions. Mercury can attack the central nervous system. Lead in large amounts can damage children's brains and kidneys and even minimal exposure can affect children's IQ and the ability to learn. Another category of toxic compounds are polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. They are byproducts of motor vehicle exhaust and wildfire smoke. In large amounts, they can cause eye and lung irritation, blood and liver issues, and even cancer. The less gasoline we burn, the better we are doing to reduce air pollution and harmful effects of climate change. Walk, ride a bicycle, or take public transportation whenever possible. Choose a car that gets a better mileage, or choose an electric car. Switch to renewable energy options like solar or wind energy. Buying local foods cuts down on the fossil fuels burned in transporting foods from across the country. The air may look clear, but that doesn't mean it's free of pollutants. Listen to weather reports for pollution levels and limit the time when you or your children go outside for jogging or playing. Stay as far as you can from heavily trafficked roads if you exercise outside. If you live or work in an area prone to wildfires or heavily trafficked places, stay away from the harmful smoke as much as you can. Consider keeping a small stock of masks to wear when conditions are bad. Thanks for watching DS1 Play. See you in the next video. Subscribe for more videos. Light up subscribe right here, right now. Don't forget to press the bell icon. The choice is yours. DS1 Play.